Okay, so as requested, we're gonna do like a, a house tour and property tour and just show you all around the place where we're staying and a little bit of what we're doing. So we'll get it started. So first off, we have our back porch. That's the kitchen in there. But we have a nice, very nice wraparound back porch and uh, we got Pratt over there. Pratt, would you like to film this? Sure. I guess we'll start off with my room. So, uh, welcome to my humble abode. So, you know, a bit on the messy side, but here we have my bed. We also have my closet. And then here we have my passport. If you want some of my personal information, you know, go ahead and have it. Um, the desk hat station. And uh, yeah, with my little office chair. And then uh, let's move on to your room, Pratt. Okay. Down the hall, you know, here it is. Right next door, roomies, you know? Yep. Um, got some dirty clothes on the floor. Long dirty clothes it is. Um, the bed, the extra bed frame, the blanket, there's... Um, this is yours. That is my shirt. Oh, this is built. Um, this cool shirt Sam gave me. Some more stuff. My closet. This Pratt's closet. Oh uh, yeah, go to Sam's room. Yeah, we'll give you all a little tour of Sam's room. Sure, he, sure he won't care. Room. Yeah, as you can tell, Sam is a little cleaner and neater than us. But yeah, this is Sam's room. This is his bed. We like to lay on it with him and just, you know, talk. But uh, anyways, yeah. Sam has the uh, front, front door. So he can come out in the front to his. Over there we have Ian and Gwenda's house. Sam's closet. All his shirts. Oh, this is a cool shirt. I didn't know he had this. He's got a cool green shirt. This is his camp drafting ribbon. Oh, this is a pro. This buckle. Yeah, this is a big old camp drafting buckle. Pretty cool. But uh, anyways, we'll continue. Walk down the hall. Here we have a little storage closet. Play some intermediate, whatever that is. And a little heater. Then we have our what I like to call my throne, because this is my bathroom. Ain't that right? Yeah, Pat? that's his bathroom. Uh, then we have the actual bathroom, the shower, and a bathtub no one uses, the mirror. And yeah, we come down the hall. We have another little closet here, just hold blankets. Uh, right now we have some fencers that are staying here. So these are their swags, they're like, really vip sleeping bags they have a nice little mattress in them and this is the living room crooked picture on the wall our chair couch fireplace perhaps got a box of cereal um, more closets uh the fencers have this wonderful gallon of ketchup and uh so this is our kitchen well dining room kitchen this is our uh, pantry you know got all the goodies uh, fridge, also full of just random crap. And then dishwasher, you know, sink, crock pot, Pratt on the counter. Uh, where, let's show them the uh, office, Pratt. So over here we have the office through this door, laundry room. So this is the office. I don't really know if much office work goes in here. Map of Queensland. And uh, uh, a whiteboard is behind it. No, there's another map. Another map, but this is Malu. So it is 36,000 acres. And then this is the map of all the fields and everything. And then this is Lycullen, which is where my cousin Travis lives. And anyways, here we have our laundry room with our broken washing machine. So, we need to try and figure out what's wrong with this. This is Pratt's throne. And then we have our little workout room, gym area, where, you know, we just get absolutely ripped. Just got this, um, got an extra bed. Just got this little squat rack, courtesy of Jaden. Got the fan bike, and now I guess we'll go outside and show you around out there. Here we have our front door. Come out to our little porch area. It's very messy, and we need to do a bit of cleaning. 
We got Sam's dog Tank, who just got back from a run. They were MIA for a little while. And uh, yeah, this is some of the fencer stuff because they also do sheep contracting work. And there's Sam's store that we were talking about. And uh, over here we have the saddle sheds. And as I said earlier, Ian and Gwenda's house. Uh, there's some dog cages around the side here. And this is our lemon tree. So we can get fresh lemons whenever we want. And they're actually about to cut down this big tree that's growing over this car shed. It's grown up through the middle as you can see. And then we have some water storage tanks over there, but we'll give you a little tour over here of the saddle barn and keep going from So there. here we have one of Gwenda's gardens. We like to call it Sam's garden. And then this one over here is Gwenda's garden. It's a better view of their house. It's really nice. And uh, over here at the horse shed, we just have like the saddles and everything and all the horse stuff that you'd need. So come in through here, through this sliding door. And uh, flip the lights on here real quick. Still go. Yep, here we go. So here we got these Australian saddles. Look, they got an American saddle with a horn. Just for me, except for it's too small. But these are what Australian saddles look like. A little weird to ride in, but we're getting used to it. And then you have all your head stalls and halters. Got some saddle pads and horse feet over here. So got all your horse blankets. We'll keep going around doing some more touring. We just got all this mode yesterday. Keep the snakes down in a way. And yeah, this video might be a little long, but as requested from someone, uh, we're gonna do it anyways. So then over here, there's the horse shed. We have this little shed. It's got Courtney's horse trailer and her ute, which is a Ford Ranger, and it's pretty cool. I think she should sell it to me. But you know she's firm on price as you see here this would be the passenger side and uh yeah it's diesel manual which is pretty cool so what i like about australia there's a lot of diesels here and everything has got these big old grill guards on them this is gwenda's jeep it normally parks in that car shed but uh they're cutting it, that tree down so this is really nice very nice jeep also diesel and uh here we have sam's trailer and uh, like we said, Sam's not home right now. We got Ian going in the buggy, going to get the dog. And over there is another little shed, not much really in it. And then here we have the other car shed. And this is where the buggy normally parks and the four wheeler goes in here. And then we just put the dirt bike in here from Travis's place. And then you have our blue car, the best car on this property. Ford Falcon station wagon. Clip of the inside. This is the inside. Lady killer. She's a beauty. Here, we'll give you a little start up. Oh, listen to her purr. Um, the speedometer goes to 220, but it maxes out at 180. How did we find that out, Pratt? Oh, it was an accident, you know. And then, yeah, we did a little mudding in it the other day. We put a good old grill guard on here. Courtesy of Joe. It's like halfway about to fall off. Then this is the main work ute. Toyota Land Cruiser. V8 diesel, turbo, manual. Pretty cool. This one I washed off in yesterday's videos. I need to put the floor mats back in it. I had to let them dry. Then this is what we call the Beast. It's a Land Cruiser 200 series that's been cut down. And had a tray put on it so it's also diesel twin turbo v8 diesel pretty cool got a girl guard on it as well and then here we have the diesel tank two of them actually and then over here we have the gas tank for all the lame stuff we got ian in the buggy again cruising around not paying attention and uh, here we have the hay shed. So normally the body truck would park right here, but Courtney took it to get the front springs replaced in it. So it's about five hours away in Emerald. This is the tractor. It normally parks on this backside, but we still had the mower on it. So it got to park here for now and uh, got the bucket for it, four in one. So it's got hydraulics. We got more hay over here, old international. Like not Gwenda really. Wants to sell. Gwenda, no, no Ian Gwenda. Wants to sell. Ian wants to sell it. Gwenda wants to keep it. 
got some mixers over there old tractor and then that first shed right there that's the helicopter shed and then the big shed is just like the main shed so uh yeah we'll give you a little tour of the helicopter so over here we have gwenda's garden and then she has a little orchard behind it and yeah uh there's some tennis courts over there that have been turned into a uh chicken cage and uh now we're walking up here to the helicopter pad hopefully the wind isn't too bad so here we have the helicopter ian just went out for a flying it this morning we have this high octane av gas and uh yeah this would be the pilot seat right here open it up all your controls navigation everything that door's off because you get a, to do a little bit of shooting out of it so ian will fly you around and you can hold the gun out the window and shoot it that's been pretty fun me and pratt did a bit of that all this other fuel for it we can put this on it's like yeah we need to fix the snorkel on the work you because we hit a bird and it broke the top of it but like we said in yesterday's video this is ian's like show truck that he got all done up very nice kenworth with a cat engine in it see up in there very very nice as you can tell completely redone very nice interior so right here this little building that's the gun building in australia they have very strict gun laws and they have to all be locked up at all times and then here we have the shed door and the other one is over here on the ground because it fell off we're not really sure how that happened but like i showed yesterday this is ian's main truck and trailer that he uses uh the low loader is over there for the dozers and got a couple greater tires here this gets loaded in the back of the white ute for when we go do bulldozer stuff so that's a fuel tank at the bottom air compressor everything you need we got all sorts of oils and everything this is a look at his main truck so you can see they're painted up the same scheme uh this one i believe has a cummins engine and uh we'll show you a little look on the inside it's also very nice so yeah very cool trucks they have and uh, let me climb down here and then over here we have the forklift some filters this is what they call the pit so you just pull the truck over it and drain the oil really easy really simple and uh, this is what we call the cage so it's got a lot of parts in it tools things like that main workbench right here the generator broken weed eaters welder toolbox tool cabinet and uh yeah i think we'll go grab the white ute now and go give you a little bit of a drive okay so here we're in the ute got to get it started up got 313,000 kilometers on it it's a 07 or 08 that's playing with the grinder so it's been a pretty good ute from what ian has said but anyways we'll go for a bit of drive show you around some more this is the broken snorkel we we're talking about so yeah we hit a bird at, on the front and it came up and whacked that so we'll get it okay, fixed so up. over here is outside of the big shed we got our burn pit right there this is the wash pad with the pressure washer and uh we got some little grain bins there and then we got the metal rack and then that big trailer over there is the low loader i was talking about that they used to move the dozers around so we'll go over and have a look at the dozers and uh we can have a little look at this trailer on the way by so it's brand new he just got it not too long ago four axle trailer really nice and then uh yeah over here we have the dozers we'll show you a little look at them so we should start running them pretty soon and uh pushing some trees over so uh this one right here his name is doreen that one doesn't have a name yet so if you have a name for it comment it so this is what we call a stick rake so it attaches onto the blade gives you a wider push and uh it's a d6h pretty nice pretty cool we just had to replace some hoses on it and get it going and uh got these freshly painted foot pegs because we had the whole floor out of this thing so anyways this is what this one looks like we got a little mirror you know 
This is your blade control right here. And uh, this is your throttle and turning. You change your gears right here. This is your parking brake. So that's, uh, that's on and that's off. Got your emergency stop. Um, we'll come back down here around to the side. We got the ripper, but there's no rippers on it. And this one's got the cutter bar, but we're going to have to take it off because I lost the pins for it. So this pin is the only other pin we can find and it's too short. Can't get a pin through it. And uh, same with this side. So we'll just have to pull it off. This one's also a D6H, but it's an XL. And uh, pretty cool. A little bit different of a stick rake on it. It's got this tree bar off the front. And uh, we might give you guys a start up on it. But uh, come up here, grab a hold. All the oils and everything should be good. You got to turn your battery power on. Hop inside here. Sit on down. Got your parking brake on. So this is your deaccelerator. So on these, it's full throttle. And then to slow down, you push on it. So you push it all the way back. Come back to the first click. Turn the key. Wait for it to do its thing. And then you crank her on up. There she goes. So a little bit noisy in here. But uh, nothing... Uh, some earplugs can't fix and then uh, like I said right here you got your blade control so uh, we'll give her a bit more throttle here not too much this one actually pick her up that fix your blade up set it back down and then back here this one's a little different it's ripper controls are on this separate lever so you just pull up right there to raise them and lower them but uh, yeah, this is the dozers and just go ahead and shut it off, pop back out and uh, we'll go on to the next piece, next uh, adventure, which is just down the road. We're going to head down there to the arena and the, the pins and yards and show you a little around. So there. over there, we have a big old hole in the ground, which is the dump, put all the stuff you can't burn. And uh, over here we have the arena. We just got done putting this black plastic sheeting up if you saw the video. Here we have the new yards on this side. So uh, they're pretty nice. Or these are like the original yards. They built some new ones further down so they don't have to move the cattle as far. But that's the arena. And uh, we'll get going down what they call the laneway. So you have all these holding pins and everything. Makes it really nice and easy when you're doing cattle work. But uh, yeah. We'll show you the next interesting thing, I guess. Here on the left-hand side of the lane is the bull paddock. And there was a big old gap in it where there was a creek crossing through. The cows um, were just crawling under the fence there, so there were some heifers in there, and they weren't supposed to be in there. So me and Levi went and fixed that the other day. Um, and on the right-hand side is the what paddock's on the right-hand side. I can't remember this paddock's name, but it's got some cows in it at the moment, I believe. And we're still, there's so many fields on here, we're still trying to learn all their names. So that's the bull paddock, and we're in the laneway right now. So. The laneway goes all the way down to the end of the property, so that way when they're working cows, they can just run them down the lane, and it's fenced on both sides, so it keeps the cows in order, and it's single file, basically. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, so we're still going to keep driving. Still got a little ways to go before we see anything else interesting. These yards up here on the right hand side are what they call the new yards so they don't have to walk the cattle all the way back up to the house and then there's some of the cows that are in the bull paddock and then there's some more over there. Right, no, that, that's actually a different paddock. Oh yeah that is a different paddock. I figured that it closes off. But yeah these are the new ones and apparently there's feral cats that come out here and apparently they're pretty big 
They'll come hang out around that. Yeah, they'll get some wild cats out here that'll just tear things to pieces. But uh, yeah, so we just got to keep driving. We'll go up here across the cattle guard or what they call a grid. So if you hear us saying grids, that's just a cattle guard. And uh, yeah, we'll keep going down through some winding little turns and uh, we'll get out to what they call the council road or which is like a county road that runs through the middle of the place. And uh, yeah, we'll show you a little bit of what's going on down there. Okay, so here we're coming out the end of the lane out onto the council road. So we'll head down this way to the left to where his property ends. I mean, there's not much down here, but we'll just show you kind of like the boundary. So everything that's on the left and on the right is all owned by him. And uh, we got some sunflowers growing on the side of the road and some more fields on the left and on the right. And uh, yeah, then we'll come back and just show you a little more. Might drive down to the sheep paddocks. We're in the Ute right now, so we can't really go exploring to say i mean we could but it just take a really long time and with the rain it could be muddy so we're just going to stick to the main roads as you can see got a little muddy through here probably some good ruts in the road but yeah we got some fencers that are going so we might pull up and see what they're doing if they want to be on the video and uh yeah so we just head down here a little ways further and we'll show you the property line and head back the other way so here we're coming up to the cattle guard that in this property line if you listen real closely you'll hear a high squealing thing so that noise right there that's to keep the kangaroos from coming across his property but uh anyways this end of his property line goes down that way i don't know a couple miles and goes down the other way also a couple miles so we'll just turn around here head back the other direction and show you what's down there So here over here we have the fencers redoing this watering square. So uh, they've torn down all this old fence and they're going to redo it. That way it's safer and uh, looks better. They got that new end assembly in which looks so much better than what was there before. And uh, here in a minute we'll come up to the cap guard that they just finished redoing and show you that. And uh, yeah. Okay, so right here is the cattle guard that they just fixed and redid. So uh, they had to pull the pull it out and clean out from underneath, and uh, they redid all the sides of it. We'll get out and show you a little look of that. So um, first they they pulled out the cattle guard and cleaned it out from underneath. So you can see here it's all fresh and clean underneath. And then they put in all these new ends and put this mesh sheeting on there so it looks really good they got they got the double gates down here so this way we can get the dozers through and uh there's all the old stuff it was just old rusty gates and uh there wasn't any mesh here it was just wire and not as secure as it could be and so this cattle guard actually separates the cattle fields from the um sheep ones so the sheep will, will be down a little ways further and uh, if you go right here at this little T and take a left, that goes down to another cattle guard uh, on his property and uh, we'll keep, we won't go down there, we'll keep going down straight down to the end of his property and show you what's down there. Not really much, but we might drive past the shearing sheds where we did all the shearing so you have a better idea. So anyways, further up is where we gathered the sheep and then we took them straight down this to the shearing shed on the neighbor's place. Okay, so up here you'll see we're coming up to a bit of asphalt. So over here in Australia they actually call it bitumen. So this is a bitumen road and uh, there's just this little bit, not very much roads would be like these. And uh, yeah, we'll just follow it down for a little ways till we get onto the neighbor's place, Willie's. And uh, yeah, we'll show you uh, show you 
what we did, where we come through. Uh, over here to the right, there was a little sheep that we had to go back and get when we were mustering. He got left behind. He was kind of hiding under a tree in a creek. And uh, on the right here, on this side, uh, was where the majority of the sheep were. So Courtney rounded them up with the helicopter and uh, yeah, pushed them down this way. And then up here, we'll come to another grid or cattle guard. And that's where we pushed them through. So I'm almost there. This has been a, a bit of a long video, but uh, hopefully you like it. And if not, as we said, that's your own problem. Yeah, we problem. So here we have the grid. So this divides uh, Mount Ian's place with, um, uh, and there we have the gate that we run the sheep through. So this will be the neighbor's laneway. And so we, we walk the sheep down here. Oh, I don't know how far. They work in kilometers over here, so. Probably like but, nah, we, nah, maybe about half a mile. Wow. Yeah, give or take. We brought them down, and uh, so this is all the neighbors on the left and the right. And like we said, this is still a council road, so anybody's free to drive on it and go all the way through. And uh, yeah, so up here to the left, we got Willie's house. They have a nice arena out there. And, horse stables and barns and then down here on the right which we're about to get up to is where the shearing shed is so this is where we want the sheep to be sheared because we only had to walk the sheep about a kilometer or so whereas if we took it to the shearing shed on Ian's place it'd be about eight so this is the shearing shed um, yeah it's in all right condition and yeah this is where we brought them through this is the grid so Anyways, we'll continue going down this way, take the highway back to the house, and then maybe show you Gwenda's house or something else, but yeah. So here down the side of the road is what they call the stock route. We showed this the other day, so they're just still moving this same mob of cows down down the road. They, they've probably made it, uh, I don't know, 20, 30 miles, and uh, up here is the mailbox, so we're going to pull in and uh, go down the driveway, and we got, them, got the dude running the the uh, cattle thing pull off over here where I got the mower stuck yesterday so uh, yeah this is the driveway going down to the front of the place we got someone up here on a dirt bike probably uh, working the cows and uh, yeah anyways that's what's going on across the front cattle guard here we got all this mowed down yesterday this is the house up here the house that we're staying in and uh, yeah, we need to give the driveway a bit of a grade. That's the tennis courts over there. Yeah, we got the tennis courts over there that have been made into a chicken cage. And then we got the dog cages back over there. And uh, this is our humble abode. We'll go over and show you Gwenda's house. And yeah, so our house, the horse shed, all the car sheds back in here. Um, over here is where they're cutting down that tree. They got the crane truck pulled up in here got the trees loaded in the back the professionals we got someone up on the roof someone climbing a tree Andrew climbing Andrew the tree climbing a tree but yeah we'll go show you Gwenda's house real quick and then that'll probably be the end of the video okay, so uh, here we have Gwenda's front porch very nice front porch got the ramp porch traps all the way around to the back here we've got the grill the air conditioner units the car shed the mower gets parked up in there now we're at the back porch. We got the clothesline. That's a hill's hoist. That's an Australian icon. Uh, we got a little shed thing there. Back porch. Anyways, we'll go inside here. This is the dining room and uh, the kitchen here. Very nice house. We got the living room. We got the piano. Um, in through there is the laundry room. We have the office. Ian and Gwenda's room back this way. This is uh, Gwenda's prized sewing room. So where she makes us all cool stuff. And uh, yeah, this is the place. So um, we hope you liked the video and- Even if you didn't? Yeah, even if we didn't, even if you didn't, we don't care. We're gonna keep doing our own thing. But yeah, it's been a bit of a long video. So we hope you liked it. And uh, hopefully that gives you a little bit better um, idea of the place where we're staying. Any 
final thoughts, Pratt, before we end this? Nothing in particular, no. So we'll see you next time.